हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर शैलेश कौशल डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ बिजनेस एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ लखनऊ लखनऊ डियर पार्टिसिपेंट्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन नॉन पैरामेट्रिक टेस्ट एंड अंडर द नॉन पैरामेट्रिक टेस्ट आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग फ्रीडबंस एनोवा more than two dependent samples okay so as we know the non parametric tests are assumptions free test and we do not find normality and homogeneity of the data okay whether my data normal or homogeneous it doesn't matter okay now what is the condition of uh, friedman anova okay so the the test friedman anova we can see here so it is equivalent to the parametric test that is repeated majors anova now we should understand the concept of repeated majors anova and the concept of friedman anova same okay so what is repeated majors anova so basically repeated majors anova extension of the paired t test and what is the condition of the paired t test it means uh, before experiment and after experiment okay there are two condition before the observations of the before experiment and after experiment or we can say before manipulation pre test and post test so paired the limitation of the paired t test we can take two times observations of the same respondents for example i have five respondent 1 2 3 4 five and the score of the five participants before the faculty development program i have noted here and after the faculty development program here okay but if we want to take repeatedly measure a uh, observation of the same respondent means we uh, for example in a weight loss weight weight loss case okay in a weight loss means uh the baseline weight of the some participants and weight loss after one month after uh two months after three months means we are taking uh same participants observations more than two times means this is baseline repeatedly we are taking same respondents observation so we use repeated majors anova in medical science doctor can take uh, uh, the patients observation after one week after two week after three week after four week repeatedly he is taking the observations of the patients so in this case we apply repeated majors anova and the paired t test condition it is limited to only the two observations we can take before treatment and after treatment but if we are taking repeatedly uh, observations of the same respondent then we use repeated measures and over again this test is uh, the uh, parametric test assumptions based test so if assumptions of the repeated measures anova not fulfill then we use friedman anova so friedman anova it is equivalent to the repeated measures anova whatever work uh, uh, repeated measures anova do same analysis can be done by the friedman's anova the only difference is this uh, non parametric test it is uh, assumptions free test and we do not uh, check the normality and homogeneity of the data because uh, here date whether data normally distributed or homogeneous 
not then we can use uh, friedman anova if my data not normal then i can use friedman's anova the uh, friedman anova it is used for testing difference between conditions where when there are more than two conditions means the condition one uh, means after one week after two week uh, more than two condition conditions may be three means observations after one week after two week after three week after four weeks of the uh, part spends observations for example there are five five part spends one two three four five okay so the more than two conditions conditions may be three four five but it should be more than two and the same part spends have been used in all the conditions if you have violated some assumptions of parametric test then this test can be useful way around the problem i already told you we do not need uh, the assumptions the whether my data parametric or not it doesn't matter in case of friedman anova this is case study of diet so uh, the case study we can see here to test the efficacy uh, to test the efficacy of my wonderful new diet the researcher took 10 women who considered themselves to be in need of losing weight and put them on this diet for two months. Their weight was measured in kilogram, start of diet and then after one month and after two months. So here we can see the these are the 10 women. The baseline weight is 63.75 after using the diet plan the weight uh, same participant is it increases although she wants to reduce her weight now the after two months it increase now question is whether this diet plan is uh, good or not so here for the respondent one it is not looking good because weight is increasing second it again it is increasing here again increasing but here we can see it is effective because weight is reducing after one month after two month and in case of four it is increasing the sixth respondent again it is decreasing now we can see some cases the weight is reducing and in some cases weights are increasing so here we want to know uh, whether this diet plan good for women who want to reduce their weight okay this is my case study so from this case study uh, from the data we can say uh, the diet plan is not good but now we cannot say at this point unless we check it through the uh, test okay if p value less than 5 0 0.05 it means it is effective if p value greater than 0 0.05 it means it is not effective now i am applying this is my data now the in species you can see the data same part spends observation the three times baseline weight after one month weight after three month weight okay so i am performing uh, the friedman anova so analyze and non parametric test legacy dialogues and k related samples okay so i can perform uh, uh, two way one is this way and second is two related sample so i am performing this way k related sample k means more than two related sample there are three four five so k related sample and then i am simultaneously i am uh, taking all the three observations of same respondents and transferring here and by default it is friedman and then okay now after okay i can see the result so what is the result so here 
the this is the mean rank 1.9 to 2.1 although it is uh, different but whether this difference significant or not who will tell us this p value and the p value it is 0 0.905 p value greater than 0 0.05 it means this uh, is not effective diet plan because the weight is not significantly decreasing although it is and now you can see here the weight is increasing mean rank okay so this uh, diet plan not good for the 10 women who want to reduce their weight now the question is uh, the we will perform the the, we will perform here the two times two times or three times uh, uh, wilcox cohen rank sign test so we will check whether after one month weight reduce significantly or not whether the weight reduce uh, uh, significantly after uh, the baseline and this and third maybe the after one month to after three months so there are three pairs so post hoc analysis I am performing here uh, by using Wilcox Cohen rank sign test, uh, analyze non parametric test, legacy dialogue, and two related samples. So the first pair baseline and one, and here Wilcox Cohen, and I will interpret all the uh, three, uh, then second non parametric the uh, two related the this uh, is baseline and two after two months and third is one month with one month with two months two related so one month and i'm transferring two months and then okay now this is my result so the first result we want to check whether first uh, the uh, one month and two months so this is the case of weight after one month and weight after a uh, weight at a start so what is the p value so this uh, the when we compare the first pair one month and uh, start so what is the p-value this 0 0.959 it means there is no significant impact after one month now we check another uh, one month with two month this one month and two month is it significant or not no the, uh, the two month and start what is the p-value so again here not significant because p value greater than 0 0.05 for significance we need p value less than 0 0.05 and the third case the third case that is th this is the uh, two months and after one month again we can see the p value it is greater than uh, greater than uh, 0 0.05 what is the p value P value 0.878 so it is also not significant is it means the diet plan is not good okay so uh, same thing we can perform in another way uh, this uh, so I am taking uh, the how to report the result so here this is the hypothesis there is no significant impact of diet on weight loss but alternate hypothesis is there is a significant impact of diet on weight loss then how to report the result of Friedman ANOVA the weight of participant did not significantly change over the two months it means after one month weight did not significantly reduce after two months weight did not significantly reduce so we will write this way because p value uh, equal to 0 0.95 
एंड इट्स रिजल्ट ऑफ पॉस्ट टेस्ट ऑफ फ्रीडमेन एनोवा विल्पॉक्सन टेस्ट वर यूज टू फॉलो अप दिस फाइंडिंग इट अपियर दैट वेट डिड नॉट सिग्निफिकेंटली चेंज फ्रॉम ए स्टार्ट ऑफ द डाइट टू वन मंथ एंड दिस जेड इक्वल टू दिस एंड पी वैल्यू पॉइंट नाइन फाइव नाइन इट इज ग्रेटर देन पॉइंट जीरो फाइव एंड इन सेकेंड केस पॉइंट दी वैल्यू पी वैल्यू पॉइंट सेवन नाइन नाइन अगेन इट इज नॉट सिग्निफिकेंट एंड थर्ड केस द पी वैल्यू ग्रेटर देन पॉइंट जीरो ग्रेटर देन पॉइंट जीरो फाइव 